You're going to say hello. Hello, this is... Sunday night. Sunday night. I say Sunday night. This is story 131. 131. 131. 30. We just looked. It's 131, isn't it? Right, we started these on Dad's first day away from work. And Dad's going back to work tomorrow. Hmm. So, that's a long time, isn't it? That's a, a big chunk of a year. Right, so what are we reading tonight then, Tedward? Ruby 2. Ruby 3 2. Oh, I remember when I say Ruby 2. Ruby Flu 2. I remember when I say Ruby 2, but I missed a. F- yeah. Go on then. Flew out. Ruby Flu 2. I can still see the Ruby Flu 2. <laughs> Ruby Flu 2. We don't look at that. Ruby Flu again and again and again. Come on, keep going. One upon a time, upon a nest. Beside they lived, they lived two ducks in both duck and they fought the duck. There were five eggs in the nest. Mother duck sat on the nest all day and all night through howling, howling wind and driving rain looking after the eggs, all five of them. Then one Bright morning, the eggs began to hatch. One, two, three, four. Little beaks popped out, poked out into the sunlight. One, two, three, four. Little ducklings, little ducklings, stuck their feathers in the breeze. Will call the Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca. Rufus and um, so father duck and mother duck agreed but the fifth egg did nothing. Will it ever hatch so father duck? It will said mother duck in its own time and so enough it did. She's very small, said Father Duck. What shall we call her? We'll call her Ruby, said Mother Duck. Make a spot. Okay, he's inspecting his hand. Come on. Call her. We'll call her Ruby, said Mother Duck, because she's small and pre- precious. It was only water on my hand where I've been tired. You've been jumping about in the garden. With this story, Rosie and Rebecca ate whatever they were given. They ate anything and everything, but Ruby ate nothing. Will she ever eat her father dog? She will, said Mother Dog in her own time. And so enough she did. Rufus, Rufus, Rory, Rosie and Rebecca, they all begin with Ru. Mm-hmm. <laughs> swam, swam, off whenever they were able. They swam anywhere and everywhere, but Ruby <laughs> swam nowhere. We still done this for life. Mm-hmm. Will she ever swim so far the duck? She will some mother in her own time. And so enough, she did. Rufus, Rosie and Rebecca grew bigger. And Ruby grew bigger too. Her feathers grew and her... Out and her wings grew. Bold and beautiful. Rory, Rosie and Rebecca. Rufus... Morby, Rosie and Rebecca. You miss one out every time. You missed Rory out before. Go on, keep going. Yeah, but I've done that. Yeah. I'm like, there's one missing out, but when I've done that... He was on the fold of the page. And when? Go on. Morby, Rosie. Rufus. Ruby flew too. Hmm? 
With this story, Rosie and Rebecca flew far and wide. They flew out across the water. They flew up among the trees. But Ruby flew farther and wider. And she flew out beyond the water. She flew up above the trees. She flew anywhere. Here and everywhere, she stretched out her beautiful wings and soared high among the clouds. Mother Duck and Father Duck were through be flying off into the distance. Will she ever come back, said Mother Duck? She will so Father in her own time. And so enough, she did. I'm going to try and guess who these all are. Rosie, Rebecca, Rory and Rufus. Mm-hmm. Boys, the other one. Mm-hmm. Right. You didn't miss out, Ruby. You didn't say Ruby. You said Rosie, Rory. Go on. Rebecca and... You've said it ten times and you can't remember. Rory. You said Rory. Rufus. Rufus, Rory, Rosie and Rebecca. Right, say goodnight, Edward. Goodnight, guys. Here's a wave. Bye, I don't want to...